Okay, now here we have a roof that's uh, relatively new. It's a three-tab composition roof, 20-year material. Uh, now, as, as I got on the roof, I knew immediately that this roof was not installed by a roofing contractor. It could either have been installed by a homeowner, a handyman, or even a general contractor. General contractors um, sometimes do things that, not, that are not quite correct as well. Uh, if you look at the flashings here, they cut the material around, even the bottom. The bottom of the flashing should be exposed and the material should be cut uh, down the sides here all the way down exposing the flashing below. This one here is also buried. They're, they're okay, they're just, they're just finished incorrectly. So the material needs to be cut away at the bottom edge. Uh, to look a little more like this flashing over here um, and they're not some of them are buried more than others so it's what we're gonna want to do here is, is get in here and uh, and cut cut these flashings incorrectly uh, the rest of, the rest of the roof looks okay uh, again installed incorrectly and to a degree but we see a lot of these and it doesn't mean that they can't be certified it just Sometimes they need a little extra work uh, to make them to make them uh, good and watertight. Uh, in the valley here, you can see they ran the composition up the edge there. Uh, it's not going to leak, but it's technically incorrect on a weave. And uh, these are the things that we see on a regular basis on roofs. It doesn't mean, again, it does not mean it can't be certified. We just have to make sure that a couple things there are good and so that it won't uh, present a problem in the future. We run into this a lot.